so is there any chance that I can develop perfect pitch? What about you? Can you develop perfect pitch? What is perfect pitch? Perfect pitch is essentially being able to listen to a tone and identify what note on the piano, essentially, that it is. Let's see if I have perfect pitch. Uh, A flat? Dang it, it's a G flat. Let me try another one. D? Hey, I got that one. All right, let me try another one. Oh, okay, that's a half step. Uh, B and C. Oh, it's E and F. Okay, so even touching the keys and knowing where they were ergonomically on the keyboard, I still couldn't get it. I think it's safe to say I don't have perfect pitch. And before we go on to answer the question, can you develop perfect pitch, there is something that I think a lot of us have, which is relative pitch. And this is almost as good. Okay, it's not almost as good. It's not even close to as good, but it's still kind of cool to be able to pick out a pitch that you recognize and then subsequently be able to build off of that pitch, that relative pitch that you can predetermine in your head and identify what a chord tone is or what any given interval is. So for me, my relative pitch that I can pretty much always nail is G. Da, da, na, 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 da, na, na, na a little sharp or flat, but you get the point. I can pretty much nail G, and the reason for that is because I have a reference point in my head from Megalomaniac, which is an Incubus song, and it starts with Mike Einziger strumming the open G, and uh, I think it's the fifth fret of the D string, so two unison G notes ringing together. Sounds like this. <laughs> But with that information, I should be able to use that relative pitch to identify other intervals. Da, there's my G. Da, da, da. That should be down two steps on the major scale. Da, da, da. So that would be G, A, B, C, D, E. It's an E. So that is how relative pitch can be useful to you and how you can sort of fake perfect pitch if nobody's holding like a stopwatch up to you. Uh, that's really the difference between people with perfect pitch is they can immediately identify it, whereas those with relative pitch, which is basically most of us, uh, that is going to take us a little bit longer. But my advice is to really listen to what you play and think about intervals. My course Guitar Super System, which is linked down in the description, is a great way to learn about intervals and understand how they apply to your playing and really give you a kind of roadmap to thinking about the fretboard in intervals. And that is really the way all great guitar players consider notes. You know, obviously you can close your eyes and play by feel, or if you're really trying to hone in on your technique and develop your voice on the instrument, intervals is the way to go. And you could see how it can be useful really in any musical situation. You can consider chords the exact same way. Sure, you could recognize a 1-4-5 blues, something like this. But can you recognize those intervals in another context where maybe there's a lot more harmony happening. Maybe something like that where you can still kind of feel that one, four, five because it's fresh in your ear, but getting into, again, that kind of jam session mentality like you would with a backing track or if you went up for a blues jam or really any kind of jam. So what do you think? Is there any way to develop perfect pitch that I don't know about? Could be. I didn't really do any research. All I know is the ear, just like the eye, has its memory. It's just up to you to be aware of it. So, until next time, guys, keep shredding. <laughs>